I'm just gonna warn you ahead of time, this is going to be the nerdiest segment of this entire show. We're heading back into the galaxy far, far away for one of the last times for what I consider to be the greatest canon sandbox ever created. Star Wars Battlefront 2, the 2017 version. Up there with Street Fighter V as one of the greatest comeback stories in gaming. From its maligned, loot box infested launch to completely changing course, making all content free and offering some of the most consistently exciting post launch updates I've ever seen for a shooter completely free of charge. I don't think I've ever seen another video game be so completely in tune with the wants and desires of its fanbase, and craft their new updates around that. I hope I'm able to make this make sense for those of you who aren't super into the Star Wars stuff to know what I mean, but okay. It's not just that you can play as a snow trooper from the Empire, or a commando droid from the Separatists. It's the developers having the knowledge that wanting to play as a snow trooper is a visual desire. It's just a classic design of Star Wars. You can put the snow trooper skin over a normal stormtrooper on Hoth and we'll be perfectly happy. In fact, that'd be preferred because if you took the time to create some snow themed kit or something, that would probably just limit the amount of people who are able to have fun with the unit when really all we wanted was to be able to enjoy the correct Imperial aesthetic when we play on Hoth. And then, on the other hand, we also want to play as the Commando Droid. But a Commando Droid is less of a classic aesthetic. Rather, a Commando Droid showing up is supposed to be particularly scary. They're so much more agile than a normal Battle Droid, they use a lot more melee attacks, and we see them take out way more clones. Putting a Commando Droid skin over a Battle Droid would not work like it does for the Stormtrooper. It needs its own kit to feel authentic to what it is. Uh, do you agree with me yet that this is the nerdiest segment? We're not out of it yet. I love Star Wars video games, obviously, but none of them get adherence to canon perfectly right. Nowhere is this more apparent to me than blaster fire. There are so many incredible blaster sounds throughout Star Wars, yet designers seem to mix and match what guns should be making which sounds. Star Wars Battlefront 2, better than any Star Wars game I've seen, gets these kinds of details right. And that's why I call this the ultimate canon Star Wars sandbox. If you just want to play as any Star Wars character in any era on any planet, we got the LEGO games. They're perfect for that, and they do that job incredibly. But more often, I like being able to immerse myself in a more lore-accurate setting, where every little detail is perfectly in sync with the canon story of Star Wars. And Star Wars is really the only series where I have this desire, because its lore is so vast and the details are so iconic and compelling thanks to the sheer size of this franchise. I can't help but give all sorts of props for how undeniably nerdy this development team is. Not to imply this game has a 100% hit rate with perfect dorky design choices, but its hit rate might be higher than any video game I've ever played. Star Wars or not. And for the record, the actual, um, video game part is great too. <laughs> I won't deny that the perfect video game representation of Star Wars does a lot of the heavy lifting, but the game is absolutely beautiful, and the game modes offer a lot of variety. I especially like how they balanced really large scale modes with smaller scale ones to suit whatever mood you might be in. The story mode has a lot of great moments, I'm glad the game didn't leave behind space battles, even if it's not as fleshed out as the ground battles, it's not Star Wars without space battles. I often think to myself how desperately I want a video game IP to give me what Star Wars gives me. Rich, long-lasting lore and storytelling that is able to grow and evolve through the years with the unshakable foundation provided by adhering to the guiding principles and philosophy of a single artist's vision. I love being able to be this invested in an IP, knowing each and every element of it is treated with respect and reverence. And Star Wars Battlefront 2 was the ultimate reward for sticking by this children's morality tale for so long.